CMD Boxing Reports. This is Ronell Head reporting here, and I'm back at it for the boxing fanatics. All right, so let's talk some of this, some of this World Boxing Super Series. All right, now we have a, uh, I don't know, we're like what two more fights left. All right, we got one fight coming up in three weeks between Josh uh, Taylor and Ivan uh, Baron uh, Check. All right. Josh Teller, who's 14 and 0 with 12 knockouts. Ivan Baroncheck, who is 19 and 0 with 12 knockouts. All right, so Regis Progress will get the winner between them two. Of course, we all know this by now. All right, uh, he fought just last night. Okay, and that was a pretty good fight. But you know, if you look at you know all of their like most recent fights, their last fights, all three of them. All their fights ended in a TKO, mostly in the later rounds, all right? Uh, Josh Taylor, his uh, TKO, it looked kind of suspicious to me, okay? Um, he, like, hit the guy in the back of the head, like at the bottom bottom part of the head, really where no one is supposed to get hit at anyway in the sport of boxing. But, you know, it, it wasn't really a hard hit. You know, it was like he grabbed him in the back of the head, and the guy... Uh, Ryan Martin, he kind of like overreacted. He had a uh, grab, you know, the back part of his head where Josh Teller had his glove and just fell down to the canvas, pretending he was hurt, you know, doing some serious acting, okay? I mean, like he was acting as if he was an animal that just got shot. You know I mean, it's the way he was just rolling on the canvas, all right? So, hey, that bad acting got him to lose the fight, all right? The ref ran up and stopped the fight. But, what he was trying to do, he was trying to uh, get a foul called on Josh Kelly, all right? And I, I really can't see how in God's name you could end a fight, okay, after a guy got hit in the back of the, you know, back of the head, all right? I mean, what was the referee seeing? Well, he probably seen that Josh Teller was, like, too much for him, okay? He was way too much for Ryan Martin. And Ryan Martin, was he was, like, looking for a way out, looking for a type of break, you know? So he just ended the fight. He says, nah, we're not going to have any more of these shenanigans. All right. Josh Teller is too much for you. So he stopped the fight. All right. So, you know, late round TKO for Josh Teller. Then it was a Ivan uh, Baron check. He had his fight against Anthony Yidget. Now that stoppage there, you know, hey, I could agree because look, let me tell you, in the early rounds, yo, I mean, Anthony Yidget, his face was swelling. Okay. Uh, it was it was his eye. I think it was his uh right eye. I mean that was swollen to a pulp. Yo, my goodness. I mean, I was scared if he might you know get hit in that eye again. That bad boy might grow eyes and teeth out of it. All right, he might have an extra head growing out of his face. You know, that's what it looked like. My goodness. But he was saying that he can still see uh, Anthony Yidget. You know, as he was uh, protesting. But man, nah, look. The officials have to do their job and protect you from yourself, all right? You know, you don't want to end up going uh, blind. Look, you see what happened to Antonio Margarito. I mean, he's disfigured, okay? You know, so if I, I say the officials did right with that, all right? Now, judging by their styles, because Josh Taylor will be facing Ivan uh, Baronchek, all right, next, like I said, in the next three weeks. Now, Josh Taylor, he's a mover, okay? He's kind of a slickster, okay? Uh, he has pretty good timing, all right? Pretty good speed as well. And with uh, Ivan Baroncheck, okay, um, he's more of a come forward fighter, all right? He barely boxes, all right? He's more, um, he's more like a boxer brawler, put it like that, okay? Like, you know, he'll probably throw a jab here and there, but he's not like a pure boxer who will work off his jab and throw combinations off of it, you know what I mean? And he's, you know, kind of slick as well. You know, he has pretty good head movement. But, you know, all in all, you know, he also tires out a lot, okay? Um, and that's what I'm looking at with this fight with him going into uh, with Josh Taylor in, like, three weeks from now, all right? I mean, although I like Ivan Baroncheck, he does, like, tire. But, you know, hey, he still, you know, keep up a pretty good work ethic, ethnic, you know? And he doesn't, like, really lose too much steam on his punches, but... Going up against Josh Teller, someone who's not going to be there for you to hit on, you know, all day, all night, you know, that's going to tire this dude out even more. So, 
I don't know, man. I probably could see or say Josh Teller will take this one from Ivan uh, Baranchek. And then, you know, hey, he'll move on and take on Regis Progress. All right. Now, with that fight there, same exact thing. OK, uh, Regis Progress, he's more eh, kind of in the same league with Ivan uh, Baranchek. OK, but only thing with uh, that he has over Ivan is that he's a pretty good counter puncher. OK, that's the only thing Regis Progress has over Ivan Baranchek. And, you know, his timing is a bit, you know, a bit more sharper as well. All right. But, you know, Regis, you know, like I said, with Ivan, you know, he's not that that guy to really, really work off his jab. You know, he's a come forward brawler type of dude. You know, he says he's a different animal. All right. So I don't know who's going to win between the two, Josh Teller and, um, you know, Regis Progress, all right? Now, this is something that's going to be fun to see. You know, I may make my prediction, you know, after the fight between Ivan Baranchek and Josh Teller, all right? I want to see how he looks in that ring with Ivan, and then I can make my uh, prediction from there. So, anyways, this is CMD Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you on the next one.